Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the Roll. Good day, people at home. My name is Gift Okun. I'm taking you on mathematics, and it is for primary two. Good day once again. Today, we'll be talking about telling the time at quarter hour. And on digital clock and watches. All right. In our last lesson, we have done telling the time early. We know what time is. A period between a, an interval. Now, for you to read the time hourly, we use the long hand. And you've also known that we use clock to read time. Look at the time. Look at the clock here. We use clock to read time. Looking at this clock, you can see that this particular clock has three hands. We have the long hand, we have the short hand, and we also have the minute hand. This is the short hand. From our last lesson, we discovered that the short hand is an hour hand. What do I mean by that? Let me repeat. I say the short hand is an hour hand. What I mean is that we use the short hand to read the time hourly. That was our last lesson. And you were told that if this long hand here is resting at two at, at twelve and the short one is resting at two, it is now two o'clock. What did I say? Correct. It is two o'clock. Now, getting to half past. You did it also in your last lesson. How do you get half past? When this now, or when this long hand now moves from twelve, look at the twelve, to six, it is now half past. You may ask me why. We were told that 60 minutes makes one hour. And for you to get that half an hour, it is 60 divided by 2. You can see, as, as you are looking at this clock here, look at the center, it is 12. And down here, we have 6. So, 6 is used for half fast. Or, if you don't want to say it is Half past two, you can say it is 2.30. Now, today we say that we are going to tell the time at quarter hour. Now, the objective of the lesson. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to read the time Quarterly. Remember, I mentioned quarter here. Use it them quarterly correctly. You can also tell the digital time on the clock. All right. Having done that, 60 minutes make an hour. 
What did I say? 60 minutes. Make an hour. Now, what do we mean by quarter? Chama, answer my question. What do we mean by quarter? No, you are not correct. Quarter is when you divide something into four. You now have quarter. Let me repeat. I said quarter is when you divide something into how many? Four, correct. When you, any number you divide into four, a part of it is now quarter. So, when we are talking about quarter, it means dividing the clock, which is 60 minutes, that makes an hour. We have to divide it into how many? Into four. One part of it will now give us the quarter. Now, let's look at the clock again. Looking at the clock, this thing reads from 12 round here to this place. Now, for us to divide the 60 minutes, from this 12 now to 1, how many minutes are here? Who can tell me? 12 to 1. We have how many minutes? Somebody said 10. It's not correct. Look at it very well. From 12 to, to 1 is 5 minutes. Now, from this 1 to 2 is giving us 5 plus 5 is 10. Then, when it gets to 3, is another 5. Add your 5 to the 10. We now have 15. That means 15 is quarter. What did I say? 15 is quarter of what? 60 minutes. Don't forget this. All right. Now, for you to get that 15, remember, your, the clock hand should be at 3. Let's look at it. Look at the time here. Ikei uh, Chuku. Where is the long hand resting? The long hand is resting at what? Three. Why the short hand is what? A little bit past two. That means it is what? This is called quarter past. We call it what? Correct. It is quarter past. That's it. If you don't want to say it is quarter past, remember that we talked about minutes. From five to, from twelve to one, it is five minutes. So, to ten, to two here, it is ten minutes. Then getting to three, it is now fifteen minutes. You can now say it is fifteen minutes past two. That means it is either you say fifteen minutes past two or quarter past two. Let's continue. We also have quarter two. Now, for you to read quarter two, you have mastered that three is used for quarter past. What did I say? Three is used for what? Quarter past. Correct. Now, we want to look at quarter two. It is not only quarter past that we have. We also have quarter two. If the clock hand is moving from here, getting to six, remember it is, it is now 2.30 or half past two. What did I say? Half past two. Now, after half past two or 2.30, remember it is getting to three. Now, how do we get quarter to three now? So, I'm going to tell us how we can get quarter to three. When it moves from this sixth to nine here, what is the time? It is 15 minutes to, to what? The next hour, which is what? Three. 
What did I say? 15 minutes to the next hour, which is what? 3. So the time here is 15 minutes to 3. When you don't want to call it 15 minutes to 3, you call it quarter to 3. What did I say? Quarter to 3. That means it is remaining 15 minutes to the hour of 3. So we have seen quarter to and a quarter past. Remember that quarter to is used for like right, nine is used for quarter two. Take it again. I said nine on your clock face is used for quarter two. Then when you want to say it is quarter past, mark the difference quarter two and the quarter past. Nine is for quarter two. While three is for quarter past. If you don't want to say it is 15 minutes to, you will say it is quarter to. Or 15 minutes past. Or quarter past. Now let's move ahead. We have some clocks have digital numbers. Like your, ha your mommy's handset. At times you see something like this, 11, 15. You see what? 11, 11, 15. When you see something like this, what does it mean? 11, 15. That means the time is past what? Past 11. How many minutes past 11? 15 minutes past 11. What did I t say? If you don't want to say it is 15 minutes past 11, you call it what? LGK answer. Correct. Quarter past 11. That's good. You may also have something like this. 2.15. Chama, what is the time? If you see 2.15, on your digital clock. What's the time? 2.15 on your digital clock. What's the time? 2.15 on your digital clock. Uh-huh. Correct. 15 minutes past 2. 15 minutes past 2. Correct. When you don't want to say it is 15 minutes past 2, you say what? If you don't want to say it is 15 minutes past 2. Ucho ama? No, you are not correct. I said when you don't want to say it is 15 minutes past 2. What do you say? Correct. Quarter past 2. Alright. I know, I also told us that we have quarter 2 and i said for us to use quarter 2 what number on the um, on the uh, clock face do we use for quarter 2 carlo answer the question and hey, did you say 10 you are not correct for you to say it is quarter 2 we use the number 9 we use the what Number nine. All right. Okay, we've seen uh, reading the time on the digital clock and your watches. Assignments. Assignments. Number one, I would like you to draw a clock. Telling the time. Quarter to five. 
5 what? 5 o'clock. I hope it's very, very simple. Number two. Draw it. Draw a clock. Telling the time. Remember the first one. Quarter two. This one is quarter past. Quarter past three. Quarter past three o'clock. This one is very, very simple. Now, Good day, people. Once again, I still remain your teacher, Auntie Gift. Make sure you do your assignment and remain safe. God bless you.